rockingguitarlessons.com, youtube.com slash rockingguitarlessons1, and rockingguitarlessons2. So subscribe, man, to both of those YouTube channels. I have more, but that's all that matters for now. You guys can find me. It's an internet world. Rat, Warren D. Martini. Woo, talk about an amazing player. This song, Memory Lane song, because I was playing guitar right around this time, came out, and I remember, you know, buying this album from Rat and just being floored by Warren D. Martini's playing. So good. Uh, this is a request. Oh, Rat, Lack of Communication is a song, and my subscriber is Steve Litcher. Okay? My um, thingamajigger that, <laughs> that holds the strap came out. I gotta fix it. So I'm gonna have to explain this from over here. Um, check it out, man. Warren, Warren tuned different for this in different concerts. Some of them are drop D. In the studio, it was a half step down and then a quarter step flat from there. So um, I'm giving this to you the, the way it was in the recording studio when they did it. Okay, if you watch them live and you're like, dude, you're playing at the wrong place. If you look at the newer stuff with Carlos Cavazzo playing, it's drop D. So the frets are going to be two frets different in there, but we're going back to studio for this, all right? So um, if you tune half step flat, you'll be close enough, you know, if you wanted to play along with the actual song. But if you are real picky like me, then go an extra quarter step flat from there. All right, so let's uh, jump in. I'm going to show you. This is really most of the song. Um, you're going to go... Palm mute the open E twice, uh, but before you do that, Go to the seventh fret on the A and the ninth fret on the D. It's a power chord. Okay, and so have that ready to go. So palm mute the E and then hit the power chord, the fifth and fourth string. And then palm mute, palm mute the open E after that. And then move that power chord over to the fifth and seventh fret and hit that one time. Palm mute the open E three times afterwards. Then hit the power chord again, and then palm mute the open E two times. And then hit the power chord again. So it's like one, two, three, one, two. Okay? And then palm mute the open E two times again. And then hit the seventh and ninth fret on the A and D again, and then and then palm mute the open E once. And then hit 5A, 7D. Palm mute the open E three times. And then hit the power chord again. Let's play it up to there. It's kind of a memorization thing. If you can find the placement of where those power chords are hitting, and you fill in around that, you'll have all your open E strings that are palm muted in there. In other words, that's the placement beat-wise of that progression. So everything around it is a palm muted E string. So 
So you did the three palm unities, right? So. And then the power chord again, and then two palm unities. So we have a, a pattern here. So. Then hit, so you're hitting the power chord again, then two more open E's palm muted. Then move over to the second fret A, fourth fret D, just hit it and let it ring for a second. Okay? That's the first chunk. Then start it over. And you stop right there. And basically, if you weren't to stop, you would go. So cut off the two open E palm mutes and the two and four on the A and D string. Just cut those three things out and rest. Probably the best way I can explain it. Also, listen to the song. So here's that. I don't know who starts it. If it's uh, if it was Robin Crosby and then Warren comes in with I think the, which I like to show the little things here on my channel. You guys know that. So if you're stopping there, uh, take whatever, middle finger, go up to around fret 17 on the low E. You really go for the effect of the slide, so don't overthink the fret, okay? As long as it's way up here. Slide it to around fret 5 on the E. Sounds like uh, Guitar Hero, Rock Band or whatever. Doesn't it? Rock Band. No, Guitar Hero, dang it. Then you're going to repeat all that. Now, both guitars are in at this point. And Rat utilized that pretty cool. A lot of times Robin would just be holding that. And Warren would be, you know. Or whatever, you know. Playing around it. So, uh, Priest did that very well too. So did the Scorpion. So did Striper. Um, anyways, ready? So when it changes, because Warren's going to come in with that as well, then you go through it again. But you don't do the rest. You don't go. You're done doing that. You just finish it out. With that, okay? Then the next part. This is the verse where Stephen Piercy comes in. You're going 3E, 5A. Um, and just let it ring. It's uh, however you want to count it, but it, it's a 7 count. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Um, and I think Robin behind us is just going. You know what I mean? But we're doing the main part, the Warren part. So uh, after you do this, the seven count, you'll go, it's a power chord with an octave, seven D, nine G, and 10 B. So there's your power chord, and when you do that 10 B, you're just throwing the octave off uh, fret seven on the D. You're gonna hit strings four, three, and two, twice, Put a quick karate chop rest in between it. By the way, karate, 56 or whatever, what up, dude? Because I'm pretty sure you're watching this one. It's a young dude, man. How old are you, brother? But it's cool because you're all into White Lion and all these 80s shredder bands. I love it. So you'll hit it twice, do the rest, and then hit it again and slide it a whole step flat. That'll put you at 5, 7, 8. Don't go. On this part, they did this in You Think You're Tough, too. So 3, E, 5, A. Move it back a half step, 2 and 4. Half step, 1 and 3. And then open E. So, so after you do the hit one palm muted E, and then the rest of the progression that you did at the beginning. All the way through to the 2-4, then you're right back to this again. 3-E, 5-A. Now, on the intro, when I played this, I only did two of those. Um, I'm pretty sure Rat did four of them there. So you'll just continue it again. Third 
on Warren. If you listen close, you'll hear like a pinch harmonic in there. So that gets us through that section. The next part, and this is the part um, my subscriber was really struggling with. And it's a trip, man. I had to listen to it a few times. I'm pretty sure this is what's going on, but they're utilizing the two guitar player thing. Warren might just be going. But I'm not positive, so I'm going to kind of fill that in for you so it's more full. Um, so we would go. Go 4G, 7B, and 7E. So I would bar those last two with your pinky. Palm mute the A, we're going to be bouncing between that palm muted A and strings 3, 2, and 1. So 1, 2, and then hit 3, 2, 1. It's two of these. Okay? And then two open A palm mutes afterwards. Actually, it's three of those. One, two. But this time, after the third hit on the chord, do one palm mute A, hit the chord, one palm mute A, hit the chord, and slide it a whole step to two, five, five. This part. You can, if you listen close, you'll hear a pinch harmonic, third fret, low E, first finger. And then go middle finger 3B, pinky 5E. So, and it's the same concept as what you just did. Hit the first and second string, palm mute that third fret E twice, and you're going to go two of those, and then hit the chord down here again, low E, palm muted, chord, palm mute to E, and then third fret. E and B, and then 3rd fret B, 5th fret E, so, and then up to 7A, 9D, 9G, hit strings 5, 4, 3, let it ring, or actually just 7A, 9D is fine, okay, so, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then you'll hit it again after the right after the count seven. It's on the end following it. So uh, it might it might even be the E following it, which in other words talking sixteenth notes, but don't worry about it. Oops, what happened there? And then hit that chord again, then move it to 5A, 7D, and then 3E, 5A. So it's gonna be a good little challenge for moving them power chords quickly. Alright? And then once you're there, it'll be one, two, three, four. You'll go one, two, one, one on the on the third fret E, fifth fret A. Rest in between. Don't go. So it's. Then you start it over. Alright guys, I think that's most of the song there, uh, Rat Lack of Communication, it's a half step down plus a quarter, so a step and a quarter flat. Um, if you have questions, let me know. Be sure to subscribe guys um, to Rockin' Guitar Lessons 1 as well as Rockin' Guitar Lessons 2. Rockin' Guitar Lessons 2 is formatted a little different, but we're, it's really about learning and getting better on the instrument. So uh, they're free lessons, man. Um, I appreciate you guys. I'm loving this journey. You guys, you guys rule. And uh, I love getting the uh, the comments and messages how my lessons are helping you, man. It makes me feel good, man. Seriously, I'm digging it. So uh, I'm here for you. I consider myself your teacher, and um, I'll do my best 
to uh, answer your questions and when you're stuck try to get them and get to your requests and all that. Uh, RockinGuitarLessons.com, my website. There's so much going on with it, I don't even know what to say. Um, so it, it's coming, man, real, real soon. Now. Uh, so ch be checking it. I mean, it's up now, but it, you can't join it. But check out what uh, Byron's doing. It's looking amazing. Um, Skype lessons. Go to Skype.com. You also use the, the Google One, where they have Google Hangout. Um, for, I'm, I'm teaching via webcam. $50 an hour, $25 for a half an hour. You pay through PayPal, tvxpunk at AOL.com. And um, that's really, if that fits your budget, the fastest way, I'm not kidding you, to get the results you want. The cool thing is, man, they're one-on-one, -on -one, it's interactive, and we can work on whatever you want to work on. If you're not sure how it would go, I suggest try it, man, because um, the, the results are even are surprising me. Because I'm old school in the sense that I'm used to going to the store and teaching, which I still do. This is a new avenue that you guys asked for, and I was really hesitant and step, made a step, uh, leap of faith, man, and did it. And it's working awesome. Um, I'm loving it. So uh, it's their hour lessons or half hour lessons. It's good to get a set day, set time each week, because I'm not kidding you. My schedule is really filling up. So if we get a spot, it's if you don't have a schedule that allows for that. We can just kind of hit and miss as we go, you know. Um, but if you want the secure, so secure spot, that's really the route to go. And um, I think that's it, man. Did I talk about everything? Really watch for that website, though, man. I'm excited. I'm looking at it every day. And Byron's adding new stuff. It's very cool. Um, so I guess that's it. I think I mentioned everything I needed to. Um, now go listen to Rat, because Warren Martini. It's not every day a guitar player like that comes around. All right, later on, guys. Hey.